What's up? I'm Mike, N2MAK, and I got some testing I gotta do for a mobile install. But first, gotta give a big shout out to the Grouch, Paul N1OG, got the shirt on. And I gotta give another shout out to Rob uh, from 741. Um, Rob's got a Subaru Outback, just like I do. He's done a couple mobile install videos that have been super helpful. And there's something I wanted to test out about noise that might be coming from the computers and the electrical systems in the car. So let's get to it. All right, let's start taking a look at the uh, setup. So I'm gonna be using the uh, small mag mount by uh, Signal Stuff and uh, just a simple signal stick antenna. Now, you can't really tell uh, from the video, <laughs> but this is not magnetic here, but it is there. It's got a good grip, and uh, that would be kind of close enough to where this, this area is where I'd be looking to do uh, a mount. So let's. Uh, Let's leave that there and let's go uh, take a look inside real quick and uh, see what we're working with here. So as you can see, got the ICOM 705 set up. That's a cup holder mount from Lido mount. It works good, I, I don't, not so much for a permanent install. I, I usually only use this if I'm doing a rove and I'm gonna be uh, setting up at a couple different parks and um, it just allows me to have the radio a little bit more semi permanently installed instead of just putting it up on the dash where I normally would so anyway let's check the SWR real quick okay and you can see it's it's below one and a half maybe one three one four around uh, 146.52 and let's take a look at the waterfall here I'm using the 705 because I, I do want to see the spectrum scope and uh, the S meter and if you look at the S meter up there I know it's it's bright out it's uh, unusually warm and sunny here in upstate New York uh, in March but um, we're looking at a consistent S3 noise level okay and uh, let's leave that there right now we got the car running let me move that over to the other side and let's see what happens all right there we go same location just on the driver's side and we're seeing pretty much the same thing the uh, S2 S3 Say it's peaking on the S3 uh, as far as the noise. Maybe a tad bit quieter on that side, but um, there we go. Let's, it's still got the car running. Now let's move this back towards the rear and see what that does. All right, here we are installed on the uh, roof here, kind of just in the middle. If you look close, you might see the outline. That's just some 3M. Uh, paint protection uh, that is very helpful for uh, using the mag mounts and if you look you can even maybe see the outline from the triple mag mount I use for HF antennas but there we are we're in the back in the middle and let's see what the noise looks like now you can see the waterfall is uh, noticeably lower and the S meter now is down like <laughs> S1 at most so much quieter in the back and that sort of makes sense because when you look at the front of the car you have all the electronic computer systems and I'm not so I wouldn't be surprised if that's generating some sort of noise and uh, and stuff but let's we've been, had the car running so here we go just turn it off I'm gonna open and close the door just so it thinks I left and <coughs> excuse me there no difference really um, 
maybe a sliver quieter like I'm, I'm not seeing any blue on the uh, s meter and uh, and whatnot now let's um, let's move the mount back to the front and see uh, what difference it makes now all right there it is passenger side and uh, oh the screen just went off let's get that back on and it is maybe S1. Um, I am seeing some some signals there and whatnot, but let's leave it there. Let's move it back to the driver's side now and see if there's any change. All right, we're back on the driver's side and I'm not seeing any blue at all on the on the S meter and I'm not seeing all those signals that I was seeing before. Um, but let's see what happens now. I'm gonna start the car. You can see the waterfall jump up, S meter jumping up right away there we go turn it off close the door and it's gone but wait there's more we got chokes. Let's see if these make a difference. These are really good quality ones um, from Palomar Engineers. These are designed for uh, VHF and above frequencies. I got four of these snap-ons on there and uh, you'll see I labeled them just with a silver sharpie. So I know that these are, are for VHF and above. Okay, so we got the chokes on. We'll just pull up and check the SWR quick and it actually is a little bit better well i'll be dipped always be choking okay now for the more important stuff all right let's get out of there and let's embiggen the scope obviously the car is off we're not seeing anything let's start this up all right and just like before we're seeing this right around an S3 noise level, uh, pretty consistent. Let's just switch it over to the other side real quick and see what happens there. Okay, we got that S2 to S3. It's like a tiny bit lower over here on this side of the car, but um, still picking up uh, that noise and just since we can I'll move it to the back one more time all right there she is cars running still and we're getting barely a tickle of blue there on the s meter so it's like a s1 occasionally the waterfall is definitely a lot quieter with it on the back um, turn the car off open and close the door real quick Noise is gone, not seeing anything, not seeing that little sliver of blue anymore. And we'll just move the antenna back to the front and see uh, how it looks. All right, front passenger side with the chokes, cars off, not seeing anything, no surprise there. And just move it over to the driver's side real quick as the screen goes off. <laughs> All right, we're on the driver's side with the chokes, the screen's back on zoom in there not seeing any noise nothing on the s meter waterfall is much quieter all right that'll do it um just wanted to this is something i've been wanting to test out since uh i saw quite a few of rob's videos with the install in his uh subaru outback and i know he was experiencing some of the noise and uh kind of suspected it might be related to the uh, computers and the electrical systems uh, in the front of the car and that seems to be the case for me at least in my 
real basic uh, testing and, and whatnot. But uh, I hope you found this, this video helpful. And if you did, uh, please click like and subscribe to my channel. If you got a comment or question or you got some tips for a mobile install, which is something I've got on my to-do list this year, by all means, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm Mike, N2MAK, 7-3. You guys are still here? All right. If you made it this far, here's kind of what I've been thinking about and what my dilemma is. And uh, I know if you made it this far, um, you're, you're, you're probably willing to give me some good feedback or some good thoughts. So let me show you what I've been thinking about. If I was gonna put antennas in the front, I've been thinking about two options. One is the, uh, the ditch light brackets, which will go in underneath here. And the holes, they'll, they'll come up over over the top of the hood probably be a little bit more stable on the highway and uh, the holes will need to be drilled out a little bit more but I could put in NMO or uh, SO239 and then I'm likely considering one of the Comet antennas um, likely the 27 inch one just because I want to be able to get in the garage without having to fold it down and when I've done some measurements that would work so that's th that comment um, and, and I'll put the model number up on screen is is kind of what I was thinking about for VHF UHF and Rob's video has some great tips on running everything from the power and the battery um, and the antenna cables into the car um, I can't thank him enough. It's great when people do videos like that to help others out. Um, he's giving me so many good ideas. That said, that's what I'm thinking about in the front. Either that uh, ditch light bracket for the mount, or I was thinking about putting um, one of two different Comet mounts. The Comet has a light duty one. It's a LD5M, I think, and uh, that could fit right here or the Comet um, HD5M. I measured a space there and I got about three and uh, three quarters inches. So it should be just enough for the heavy duty mount, which can clip on that way and then it'll have that little nub, for lack of a better term, um, coming over onto here, kind of stabilize it when it's rocking on, uh, and the vehicles in motion um i was thinking about those and whether i do the ditch lights or if i do um, another one of the comet brackets over on the other side uh, i thought i would i would have a maybe a 3 8 24 um, mount so that i can use ham sticks or the 17 foot telescoping whips that i like to use portable i typically use those with the mag mount on the hood um, but the other option and uh, I know Big Jeem and some others uh, have feelings when it comes to the glass mount antennas but hey there I am um, putting glass mount antenna on either side is something I've been considering I saw a Subaru it wasn't an Outback but it was maybe a Crosstrek or something similar at Hamvention last year, 2024, and they had a glass mount antenna right on that this little black window. So I'm assuming that there shouldn't be any issues with the tint and everything else, and there's probably just enough space. I know those things have a little counterpoise bar that goes horizontal, but I'm thinking I could put one on either side I don't know. Um, I'd love to hear kind of what your thoughts are when it comes to the glass mount antennas. I know they would give me just enough clearance to make it in uh, the garage uh, and steal the spot from my wife. So we shall see. Um, the radio is a whole other topic as far as what I might do for HF, VHF, UHF. Um, but I would love to hear your thoughts on the antenna. And no, I am not drilling a hole in the roof. It ain't gonna happen. Now, if you really made it this far, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, I, I can't say thank you enough to, 
to everyone that supported the channel um, watch videos I'm having a blast doing it and I really hope it helps you out I look forward to any suggestions you have for the antennas or the mounts especially if you got a Subaru um, I'd like to hear what your experience has been thanks again for watching I'm Mike and 2MAK 7-3 all right, I just got everything packed up, put away. Car is back in the garage. I beat my wife to the spot and uh, realized I didn't try 440. Guess what, I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> um, it is what it is. Uh, I realized I did the test on uh, two meters. I should have tried 70 centimeters, but it is what it is. Like I said, hopefully this is helpful. Um, thanks again for watching. I'm Mike and 2MAK and I'm gone for now for real, 7-3. <laughs>